so far we have learnt about the numbers and their properties and even those even some geometrical shapes and their properties such as triangles quadrilaterals and so on so the branch of mathematics in which we deal with the numbers and their properties is called the arithmetic and the branch of mathematics in which we deal with the geometrical shapes and their properties is called the geometry now there is also another branch of mathematics so that is called algebra in which we deal with the unknown numbers so let us assume the unknown numbers by any english alphabet so and we will solve some day to day life problems using the branch of mathematics called algebra now let us start the next chapter algebra now before going to learn algebra so we will see some math tricks patterns now if you arrange the math tricks in systematic way that so that we get the english alphabet l now how many math tricks are required to make the alphabet l to make the letter l so 1 and 2 and to make two letters l so we need so 1 2 3 4 math tricks to make three letters means three l's 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we will write a table consisting of the number of letters mean the number of l's and also the math tricks required so here the number of l's in the first row and we will write the number of math tricks required to make only one letter l so we need two math tricks and to make two letters so we need 1 2 3 4 math tricks now to make three l's so we need six math tricks and to make four l's we need eight math tricks to make five l's we need 10 math tricks so if you observe the table the second the numbers in the second row are twice the numbers in the first row so this 2 can be written as 2 into 1 and this 4 can be written as 2 into 2 and this 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and 4 can be written as 8 can be written as 2 into 4 and 10 can be written as 2 into 5 so if you mention the number of l's formed with the any english alphabet n then we will find that number of math tricks required is 2n now here let the number of l's formed be n so then we will write the number of Math tricks required equals to twice n means two into n. So this can also be written as two into number of l's formed. Now, if n equals to one means if the number of letters is one. so then the number of 
match sticks required equals to 2 into 1 so this equals to 2 now if n equal to 7 means the number of letters the number of L's formed is 7 so then we can find the number of match sticks equals to 2 into 7 so that equals to 14 so there will be 14 match sticks to form the 7 L's so in this way we can find the number of match sticks required to form any number of L's so here the variable is n the variable means which can change which can vary so here n is not any fixed value it can change now let us see the next topic the idea of a variable now in the example we have discussed just before the statement is number of match sticks required equals to 2n so here n represents the number of l's formed so we can take any number of n's formed because here n can take either 1l or 2l's or 3l's so it can vary so the variable is a word that can change or vary now here n can be taken any value so it does not have a fixed value it can take any value so in, in the given statement the number of matchsticks required that is 2n so here n represents the variable so it does not have any fixed value it can take any value so in this statement here n is called the variable so variable means which can change so which can vary but here 2 is a fixed number so it is not the variable so usually the variables are represented by the lower case letters like a m x y z n etc now let us see some other matchstick patterns now more matchstick patterns now if you want to form the letter c so to make to form one letter c how many matchsticks are required now to form one letter c how many matchsticks are required now let us see so so this is one matchstick two three so to form one letter c we require three matchsticks to form two letters one two three four five six so you have three matchsticks you have six matchsticks and one two three four five six seven eight nine so here we need nine matchsticks to form three c's now let us write the table so number of c's formed number of matchsticks required so this equals to 
to form one letter C, we require three matchsticks. To form two letters, so we require six matchsticks. To form three letters C, we require nine. So, so these are multiples of three. So when we take the number of C is formed is one. So then the number of matchsticks required is three times the number of C is formed. So if we take six, then six three is eighteen. If we take ten letters to form ten letters, we require thirty matchsticks. So we can write the statement as number of matchsticks required. equals to 3n where n is number of c's found here n is the variable